Hi everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. I want to take a moment today to talk to you about wax divination or ceramancy. Um, most often when people talk about this, they are referring to reading the signs of your candle wax and the hardened candle or the drippings either during your wax working or your candle working or after your candle working. So during your magic or after your magic. The way that I'm going to talk about it today is in two different regards. Um, one is actually using a candle and its wax for divination. I do want to pause here a moment and say I like to be careful about the way that I use the word um, divination because divination means to predict the future. And when I am doing wax readings, I am not necessarily predicting the future. In fact, my readings are most often uh, in pertaining to the current energy and what may be coming up in the very near future. So I do want to make that distinction. So continuing, um, when I do, one of the things that I do are um, candle readings. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about my candle readings, which are separate from my magical work. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about um, wax interpretations in terms of root work or spiritual work. So when I do a reading using a candle, um, the, the misconception that I believe people have is that I'm just looking at the wax of the candle and that that's how I'm doing my reading. And that is not the method that I use. Um, what I do is actually spend time, first of all, I spend time preparing myself. Anytime before I do a reading uh, of any sort, I spend time preparing myself through um, meditation and prayer. And that, uh, that time spent in meditation or purification as well. Um, that time spent in purification, meditation, and prayer is um, more intensive or more um, loose depending on what kind of a reading I'm doing and how in-depth that reading is going to be because I do offer several kinds of readings in addition to um, doing psychic work on my own and for myself. So that being said, I spend some amount of time in um, purification and in meditation and prayer to prepare for my candle reading. And then I spend time, um, in, in addition, meditating on the flame of the candle. And that is really important. This is really more of um, using the flame and the fire for scrying than it is anything else. So I really um, tune into that candle, tune into that flame, and use that also as a method of tuning into my clients. Um, now, mind you, there's some preparation that goes into the candle itself, of which I'm naming that candle in the name of my client or target. I'm um, putting intention into that candle for the purpose of connecting with my client. So there's some preparation there, which also helps to um, link the client and the candle. Then I spend time scrying, tuning in with the flame and scrying. And then after I do after I spend some time doing that, I can usually also start to interpret um, some of the symbols of the wax. But for me, it's not just about the wax. This is not like I'm just looking at wax and literally interpreting the symbols. It's about the connection with the client and the connection with that candle and also the connection with the flame. Um, I've seen a lot in, in I see a lot in flames. Um, and most often that is much more important than the wax itself, specifically in this type of reading. So um, that's a little bit about how I do those readings. And then I also wanna talk about interpreting wax a little bit more, and this time in the context of interpreting the wax from your candles in your spiritual work or in your magical practices. Um, and I wanna go back to the concept of literal interpretation of signs in wax. Now this, in my opinion, does not always work. It doesn't always work um, for me. That's not the way that I interpret the signs in my wax. This 
it's very important that I to note that I am in tune with that working. I am in tune with that service. The, these are candles that I have prepared. These are um, pertaining to clients, friends, or situations that I have spent time tuning in with. Um, that I have meditated on their photos. That I have put my energy and used my spiritual connection with this work that I'm doing. And then I am physically there, present with the work as it is unfolding. Um, I think that that makes a huge difference in connecting with the work rather than just seeing a lot of people do interpretations where they just, people send them photos perhaps and they look at the wax that way. Or um, sometimes, you know, possibly when I send the photos of my work in the reports to my clients, they feel like they can look at the pictures and see symbols in the wax and interpret it. And I think that they have a perception that they can interpret those symbols very literally based on um, information that they're hearing elsewhere or maybe information that they're getting on the internet, etc. I'm not saying interpreting symbols in the wax doesn't work. I'm saying that my interpretations may be different because I am having a relationship with that service and I am making these interpretations while the work is actually taking place and while I am actually spiritually connected to that work and to that target. Um, so it's not always about literal interpretation. It's not like I see a scorpion and I say, you're going to get stung. Um, it's about a whole unfolding, a whole story that unfolds as you're doing that work. It's also about the intuitions that I'm receiving, the psychic impressions that I'm receiving, um, the messages that I'm receiving from spirits, the messages that I'm receiving from the flame. Um, I do a lot of psychic work, and there are a lot of different ways that I have um, worked on being developed in that way and being open in that way. So I'm receiving messages. I'm, you know, in a relationship with spirit and in a relationship with the work while I'm doing it. Um, paying attention to really all the different kinds of ways that my own spiritual gifts work, the ways that my connection with spirit works, and also all of the different ways that I can see signs or receive messages through that work itself. Um, <clears throat> so, literal interpretation is not always what I'm doing, but it does come into play, for sure. Um, the other thing that I want to say about literal interpretations of signs in wax is that you really always have to be careful with interpreting a sign or symbol literally, because you have to take into consideration that different signs, symbols, animals, numbers, uh, etc. They mean different things to different people and in different cultures. So just like I would never say, you know, a blue jay in your dream always means a guardian angel. Um, I would also never say that, you know, a scorpion in a candle, <laughs> in a candle working always means that you're going to get stung. Um, those aren't very good examples. I was trying to think of something that is much different from one culture to the next, and it's just not coming to my mind right now. But you get the picture. Things things change context. Um, a cow is sacred in, in India. You know, if I see a cow in your service um, and... <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm trying to say. So I, I just never encourage um, super literal interpretations. It's, it's really what it means to me may not be the same thing that it means to a client. So I'm not going to bring it up in a report. I'm not going to um, take it as a, a set in stone message. It's really more about the relationship with spirits using your spiritual gifts, using your intuition, and also just being aware and having a very strong connection to the service that you are providing. So I think that's everything that I wanted to say about wax interpretations and divination and so forth. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like the video. Please comment. Please share the video with your friends. Um, let me know if you have questions about anything that I've said today or if you have any suggestions for future topics of videos that you would like me to do. I'm always open to taking suggestions. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.